Okay, so now that we know how to do basic tables, uh, I'm going to show you some of the uh, more advanced features. Just you know, right now, pretty much all we know how to do is make a you know four by four, five by five, you know, three by three, etc. Uh, a table. So obviously, you know, if you're doing some work, um, writing some paper, you know, you may have the need for some of these customizable features. So first off, one thing you're going to notice is. When you put in the text, uh, the ta the column width is going to grow with the text. Okay, so the problem with that may come up is if, right, if you put a lot of text, what's going to happen is, yeah, your table is no longer going to fit on the page. Okay, so the f this is the first thing that usually crops up, and there's a command for this. So instead of putting C for center in this column, we're going to mag we're going to say okay. The width can only expand maximum five centimeters, and then you have to then wrap the text around after that. Okay, or we can do three centimeters. It's probably not going to look very good, but okay. So uh, this is, you know, that's one one way to control uh, the the length and width of the columns. Okay, another way is uh, so let's say I want to, you know, here I just have a, but I want to increase the space between a and these two columns. Okay, we can do that by using set length. So table column separation and 18 point. I think so point is like a very small unit of measurement, but you see how now this is larger. I think you can use centimeters as well. So let's see. Okay, so one centimeter from from the, the end of the text. To the to the left, to the end of the the other text, to the right. Okay, so you see it, and it goes across all, everything. Then again, if you uh, let's say maybe you want to uh, increase the vertical dis distance between these. Okay, so this you can do. Renew command, array, stretch, and I think this is proportional to the size of the. Of the table itself, so you see how now we have more vertical space. Okay, so that's all your spacing needs if you need if you, if you want to work that out. So now let's say you want to make uh, uh, the the title of the table and you want it to be a part of the table. Okay, that's normal. So what we can do is create a new row and we're going to use this feature called multi-column. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you something that span uh, uh, it's going to give you an, uh, a box that spans multiple columns. Okay, so if I put four columns, then this box is going to span all four columns. Okay, and here inside I put I input the what I want the text to be. So, so I just want to put a title for the table. Okay, I have to end the end the line here. And oh, okay. I, I forgot to put. Uh, I you need to specify what how you want the text to be presented, whether centered to the right. If you put R, you get to flush right. L, you get flush flush left. Okay, and so here you go. You have this nice uh, single box that spans multiple columns. Now we can do this again. Let's say you have the title, and then you have two different categories, and then you input the data for two different categories. Okay. So what you do here is you can say, okay. I want the two leftmost uh, uh, columns to be associated with category one and the two right with category two. So now I've only sp specified in this row, uh, you know, something that's going to span two of the columns, but there are four columns. So I need to either specify A and B, right? So that's two columns here, one column here, one column here. So that's four in total. So that'll give us something, you know, something like this. Or I can get rid of this and specify another uh, multi-column for category two. Okay. So that's two two multi-columns each. So two columns being spanned by each one of them. So here you go. You have now you have a way to customize this. This these will overlap. Okay. So these again, it's not L. It's the vertical bar. Uh, because if you put them next to each other, they overlap. So now you see that there's, this is a little bit darker here. So you just get rid of one of them, and there you go. You have this uh, 
this next feature. Okay, uh, lastly, I mean, again, there are so many other uh, things that you can do here. You can have, uh, and you know, these boxes span multiple rows. I'm not sure off the top of my head what that command is. I've never used it myself, but uh, Google will tell you it should be easy to find, and it's going to behave similarly to multi multi column. Um, but okay, so one other thing, maybe you want to color the, um, maybe you want to color, you know, add some color to to the entries. Okay, so uh, you need to use this package. Okay. Pa uh, X color is just a general color package, um, but you need to specify this option here. So this is going to say we're going to allow uh, to use colors within our tables. And so if you want just this particular cell to be a certain color, you can look up what the commands for the colors are online. Most of them are uh, just basic color names. So you put cell color blue, and there you go. You have the, the cell color blue. Uh, you can do something like if you want the whole row to be red, you put row color red at the start of the row, and there you go. Okay, you have your colors there. Okay, so again, there's many other features, but this is just you know basic spacing and and separating of the columns that I think are most important to get you know to get started to be able to produce some high quality uh, high quality tables yourself.